Welcome. This video goes through the steps to create an open ODS view in SAP BW on HANA. In this example, I'll be creating an open ODS view based on a table which physically resides on a remote HANA database. In the HANA Studio, expand your BW project. Navigate to the info area where you would like your open ODS view to reside. In this case, the info area is in my backend favourites folder. Right click New, Open ODS View. Enter the Open ODS View technical name and description. Select the semantic type. You have the choice of facts, master data, or texts depending on the nature of your data. In this case, I'm using sales order item data, which is fact data. Next, choose the data access method. For this you have five options, accessing data directly from a data source, a database table or view, a virtual table using SAP HANA Smart Data Access, using a transformation to the Open ODS view, or using an advanced DSO. In this case we'll be selecting a virtual table using SAP HANA Smart Data Access. Choose the remote source technical name. This should be provided to you by your system administrator. Followed by the data schema of the source. Now select the table you wish to access. In this case, I'm accessing the sales order items table. Now click finish. In the Open ODS View maintenance screen, there are two tabs. The first is the General tab. This allows you to maintain your object and source data information. The Generate Data Flow button allows you to convert the Open ODS View into a persistent source, automatically generating an advanced DSO and the relevant data flow to extract the data. In the Facts tab, you can define the structure of your Open ODS View. You'll notice that the fields of the source table are copied and shown in the source field section. In the view and general section, we can define the structure of the Open ODS view and make relationships between the fields of the Open ODS view and the master data residing in BW. Move the fields which make up the characteristic key to the characteristic key folder. In this case, ID and line ID will make up the key. Next, I will associate field product ID to info object zero material. To do this, click on the product ID field and under association, choose info object. Click browse and find your info object. You can assign any navigational attribute associated with the info object. In this case, I will assign RT color. You can also associate a field with another Open ODS view which has been created using master data or text type. To do this, select the field and create an association with an Open ODS view. Select your Open ODS view from the browser. Next, we'll define the fields which make up the currency key and key figures. Move the currency key or keys to the currency folder. In this case, the field currency is the only currency key. Move the key figure or key figures to the key figure folder. In this case, the field item amount is my only key figure. Within the key figure definition, you can assign the aggregation behaviour and a currency or unit if relevant. In this case, I will assign field currency as the currency. When you are happy with the structure of your Open ODS view, you can activate it. Once the activation is complete, you will receive a message on the bottom left-hand part of your screen. You can view your data immediately by using the Data Preview button.
You'll notice we can navigate on data belonging to the source data table, like item amount, together with fields we enhanced with BW, like supplier and colour. Thank you for viewing this video. For more articles, videos and information, please visit the EDW Product Management Community page.